Madam, first case this evening, I believe, is the City of Hayhower case, which is uh, HA 2017-02, will be called. Would you please present that, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a resigning request by Wilda Coleman uh, for property that is located in the northeast quadrant of Exit 29. <clears throat> the proposal is to rezone from R10. This is three different tracts of land, like you see there on the screen. This map is also in your packet. But to rezone these either to Highway Commercial CH or to R10 Conditional. Uh, the larger track, which is Track A, is to go from R10 to CH. Track B, a very tiny sliver of land, um, is to go from R10 to CH. And then Track C is a 50 foot wide strip of land uh, along West Sandville Street, which is to remain R10 <coughs> to become R10 Conditional. On this particular map, you see some purple lines that um, sort of Gander and serpentine pattern through the property. This is the new Union Road right of way. Georgia DOT has already acquired <coughs> these lands. This is part of the exit 29 change <coughs> improvements. Uh, the applicant owns land on both sides of the new Union Road right of way, and they're wanting to have commercial zoning on both sides. Uh, the change on the east side, <coughs> which is presently zoned R10, is to a depth of approximately 600 feet from Union Road and that matches the depth of CH zoning from Georgia 122 down to the south. Um, the purpose of the 50-foot strip along West Stanfield is to separate future commercial development from the Stanfield Road Corridor and the houses on the north side. Um, this is a speculative rezoning. There is no proposed commercial use. There is no site plan. An applicant <coughs> simply wanted to market their property for commercial development. Um, character area-wise, this is all for the activity center. <coughs> This is the portion of Hay Hire around the inter, uh, exit 29 interchange. As you know, community activity center calls for high density residential um, or other commercial uses. Um, as a note here, the R10 zoning is already in place on part of this property. It's what we call a non compliant zoning, which means it is simply not dense enough based on land use policy for this area. It needs to be something higher density. In this case, the applicant is wanting to change portions of it to CH. The aerial, you see the land is um, almost completely undeveloped. It is mostly wooded. There's some pockets of wetlands in there that have been surveyed. Um, however, Georgia DOT is going to be doing some major road improvement through there. It is likely to change some of that pattern. Um, Survey-wise, we know this is the length of the work session, but here you see tracks A, B, and C in a little more detail with some measurements placed there for you. Um, track B is an inset map, which is not here on the screen, but it is on the survey in your packet. And it is a very tiny area, only about 15 or 20 feet wide. And that is simply the old zoning boundary between R10 and CH that parallel Georgia 122. Um, the new Union Road right of way crossed beyond that and left a little teeny piece of R10. So it's really just to get everything on one side of the Union Road to CH and then increase the CH portion on the east side. Planning committee or staff is recommending <coughs> approval of this after finding consistent with the conference of plan and our stands for exercise of zoning power. And those are there in your packet. I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Matt. One thing, too, to Mr. Chairman, to point out, four conditions for that strip of land on the second page. And there are four of them, and we went over these at the work session. <coughs> would like I could repeat them for the benefit of the audience, or we could. If you don't mind, we'll do it. Yes, sir. Before you do that, I'm just curious, is there, is there a timetable on, on the relocation of uh, Union Road? Union Road, they are supposed to start construction next year. Um, but it is a Georgia DOT project, so sometimes that varies. Um, but they have finally acquired right of way. Uh, we've been waiting 15 years for them to get this far. Can you look through the condition? All right. Condition number one, this is, <coughs> keep in mind, just for track C, which is to go from R10 to R10 conditional. The conditions being number one, no motorized vehicular access to West Stanford Street except for golf park paths as approved by the city engineer. Number two, this area shall otherwise remain undisturbed in a primarily natural vegetated state at the time of development of the adjacent CH zoning area. 
There shall be a minimum equivalency of at least 50 evergreen shrubs and 10 evergreen trees for 100 linear feet within this R10 area. The existing vegetation may be counted toward these minimums. And additional <coughs> evergreen plantings may be required at the time of development. Number three, there shall be no non-governmental signage in this area, i.e. no commercial signs. Number four, future stormwater management areas may encroach no more than 10 feet into the southern portion of this 50-foot strip. There be none. If anyone here this evening wish to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. If anyone wishes to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. We, uh, 
um, we agreed that, that since people um, what's the name of that road, Justin? Sample, sample street. <coughs> uh, people on Sample Street, there are about five or six houses on Sample Street. On the north side of Sample Street, um, would be looking at the back end of a, of a commercial developed area uh, that to protect their values that we would set aside uh, a 50 foot strip along Stanford Street running east and west on Stanford Street from the new Union Road <coughs> about 1,100 feet running eastward along Stanford Street. And that, that would be planted with, uh, with, with various evergreen shrubbery and trees. Um, so that's, that's what we're, we're seeking, and uh, we hope you get the approval. If anybody has any questions about it, I'd be glad to try to answer them. Thank you for coming up tonight. Stand just for one second. Commissioner, any questions for Mr. Gold? Okay. Thank you. Mayor, thank you very much, sir. Okay. <clears throat> anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. There being none, anyone here wishing to speak against this request, please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak against this request, please come forward. Zone something else. 
the big universe. In front of your house, yeah. very little. I mean, like we're like, I might, I might as well say my address is Union Road. Right, and what I'm not certain of is how the Stanfield New Union Road intersection will be designed. Well, what I've seen it, it looks like it's going to be a dead end in my neighbor's driveway, and then there'll be a little spur that'll go across to connect the Union Road. And I, I saw that on the previous DOT plan, but this the new road has shifted northward a little bit, so I don't know how it's affected. So it's closer to us than it was? It's closer than what they were proposing eight years ago. I should have just let them have my house eight years ago because I've been fighting this out for, for 13 years. My concern as well is my, is my property value. What's going to have my property value? What's going to be across the street from my house? Is it going to be a hotel, a supermarket, a mid market? Who knows what they're going to put there? What, what restrictions does CH place on the owner of the property? Now, for you, on that question, <laughs> what, what kind of Hobby Commercial allows pretty much the full range of commercial services, any form of retail, <coughs> hotels, motels, um, restaurants. So if you drive down St. Augustine Road and <coughs> pass the mall, anything that's in there could be pretty For the most part, there's a few things in there that are pushing toward the industrial end of the spectrum, and those would not be allowed. Does he also own the property across, but that's still in red there? Where it says CH up on there? Right. Most of what you see in CH that's on large pieces of land is still owned by the applicant. Now, across from your house, it's zoned highway commercial and has been for more than 30 years. Yeah, and I can see that on the map. Too. And DOT has acquired most, really, any developable land across the house from you and, for the most part, from the place. So, it's most likely, for you. so there's not really enough <laughs> land there to be anything across from me? Other than a road, no. It's just a highway and, 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 and the ramp. Correct. It's going to be a, a two-lane road within a fairly wide right-of-way. It'll have large swales, probably some vegetation in it. Um, it's a fairly wide right-of-way for the size road that it is, but it's on curves. Um, so it's DOT right-of-way, any other, like a state highway would be. Now, on the other side of that, going southward towards 122, is still some highway commercial land that has been zoned that way forever. That's behind the, uh, like, the liquor store. That's there. Correct. That Correct. Correct. So that, uh, there behind the liquor store is already zoned CH. Correct. So this is just kind yeah. of... Everything you see on this map that's red uh -huh. is already zoned CH. Only thing, the proposal is to change some of this yellow area that's outside, out, outlined in black lines to red. Does the zoning commission... Does it like to have commercial really close to residential, or is there a certain standard of buffer? That's why the proposal for the 50-foot strip along West Stanfield Street, 50 feet deep and probably a thousand or more feet long, okay. that's, that's to separate the CH from West Stanfield Street. Right. What is the, um, the traffic I would say it's probably very similar to what you have on Union Road now. There's a, a three-way stop, basically, at Union Road, <coughs> Stanfield is in the back. I would think it would probably be very similar to that. I don't see the traffic increasing through there because there's no other businesses coming in. They're just <coughs> moving the road over a little bit. So. If I may, I think what I would like to recommend to you is actually with the city engineer to, to go over what is being planned for Union Road. What you are asking, yeah, asking a lot of questions specific to that. And, what's, and what we are looking at right now is specifically the properties that are shown in that black Right, black. That, 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 that property is really not going to affect us as we leaving because it's not coming right. down the right. right. So for, the, for or, this proposal, the applicant is doing, they are providing a 50 foot buffer between the residential, the existing residential, and what's going to become CH, which it would have been nice if that also happened on the other side, but I really, I personally don't know what else. What, what, what is an R10? Is that a single family house? That's residential. Single family house. And the 10 is just a designation of how big the lot is in that area. But as far as our, what we are looking at, we are really just focused on just simply the, right. those two, three lot tracks we are looking at. Right, okay. Uh, we don't we don't have any drawings that can answer any questions that you're asking. Right, right, I understand. I, I've seen the drawings, but like you saying the drawings have been changed. I was going to say, likely, 
Might have to change again. <laughs> it never turned out the way to draw, I guess. This is true. Now, the property lines are probably will be there to stay. Um, the actual design of the intersections could very well change a little bit. Okay. So we, we have, our concern here is small children, too. And I think the, the road's already going to change, but I think if we invite more congestion in there, that just you know, makes it more unsafe for the neighborhood of small children. Thank you. 